There's layers to that comment. You know all about stealing, don't you, Avatar? Ooh, bacon. Greetings, Tasty Morsels. This is Reverse BLT here. Welcome to the channel. I'm about to watch the fifth episode of Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender adaptation. It is entitled Spirited Away. I think I know what this is. I think this is Haybot. So yeah, I think this is both in sequence and out of sequence at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, a uh, lot of uh, interesting explorations of uh, some of the themes and um, world building elements that we've already been working with happen in this particular story. I'm wondering what they're going to remix into it because obviously they're they're each episode they're doing multiple uh, stories together, so they're kind of th you know bringing several things up. I think we might get our first uh, glimpse at Roku, just like uh, happened in the animated version of the story. And we might actually explore a little bit more of Sokka, because there's a little bit of a lost opportunity in the animation for some, uh, you know, some Sokka work. How dare you, sir? <laughs> Uh, after they decided to try walking for a little while because they figured out that Appa being visible in the sky was helping them, uh, helping them be trapped. Oh, there you go. Nice little way to show that Katara continues to level up. I wonder how much passage of uh, time is Because one of the things that I... There's only, there are only a handful of things that I think Shyamalan did well in the movie that will not be named. <laughs> One of them was expanding the amount of time that the story was meant to take place in. I, I hope that the Netflix series will do the same thing. How many more forced have died because I wasn't here? Because I don't know what I'm doing! So you know this is my acorn! Get your own acorn! <laughs> hey! Such a Sokka response. Just, hey. My name's Sokka. Rhymes with. Aka. And. Oh my god! Waka Waka. Oh, uh, it's a reference to the haiku thing. She have a name? Well, maybe we can come up with one for her. How about. Pippin Paddle Opsicopolis? <laughs> the third. I like the cute little Easter eggs they're peppering in. I'd send more resources to Zhao. See what he can do with a little support. Water the most promising seeds. You taught me that. What are you up to, Azula? <laughs> He's the one who displayed resilience and dedication. That's what I expect from a future heir. Not self-serving flattery and coy whispers. Definitely some uh, changes going on here. I like them though. There's a little more uncertainty with Azula now. Katara? Okay. Hey! Ah! I think we are gonna take the opportunity to do a little more Sokka work than we got in the uh, animation. So, what do we do? We watch over Aang. Okay. I thought that Sokka had actually crossed over into the spirit world in the previous scene, but I guess it was just meant to sort of imply that the forest was smacking him. Katara? Oh, they all got pulled in this time. Interesting little wrinkle. Okay, we're gonna take the opportunity to do a little that early exploration of how the spirit world works. From the spirit world. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna get Ko. Oh, we're about to get get an introduction to June, maybe. So, be a okay place to introduce her. Did you see them? No, but you remember hearing sword <laughs> money, dude. Come on, Did you know how this works. Perhaps this. Okay. Well, you don't start out with quite so much money, Zuko. <laughs> Never spend more for an acquisition. And you have to. You see the waterbenders. No. <laughs> but I heard the Avatar might be traveling with some waterbenders. That's what those pirates said. 
No. Hey, we pirates. are going to talk about the pirates. It's that canyon guy. He said that. Oh my. Oh. That. <laughs> More Easter eggs. I love it. Each of those were, were little side missions in the animation. Man, talk about another character who looks like she's right out of the freaking uh, animation. Big talk for a little boy. I'll let it pass because your dad's kind of cute. <laughs> All right, make her a little flirty with Iro. You know, I've always felt I was a spiritually attuned person. That might be why I crossed over with you. Oh, is that a frog or a froggy thing? <laughs> I have no idea how he got in here. The funny thing is I know exactly which spirits that he's seeing. <laughs> I'm hoping we get the weird mushroom, even though it is something that doesn't happen until much later. Wan Shi Tong? He who knows a thousand things. There are creatures in here that will do far more than devour your body. They'll eat your soul. Or steal your face. Okay, so we're introducing this element of her storyline a little early as well. They are untrained, but that only means their minds are open to new ideas. And so they are ready when the solution reveals itself. Always teaching them. She's a mercenary. Her loyalty is bought and sold. How can you trust someone like that? Don't you pay the people in your army? You might have to face the truth. How bad could the truth be? Ha! Right? Now I definitely know you're 12. I can't bend. I can't bend! I can't either. Because there's no bending in the spirit world. At least, well, not hey, in spirit Hey, Skunky, why'd you pick us in when you're outside? I, I didn't mean me. <laughs> And Sokka's dead. Bye, Sokka. Don't you know what it's like to be hurt? Well, these scratches are making me pretty irritable, so. Do you always make jokes when you don't want to talk about something? I know this voice. What? That's not what I do. Yeah, it's exactly what you do, Sokka. I hope you can recombobulate. You got lucky, Sokka. That could have gone a lot worse. Sokka? Oh no, did Katara end up in the Fog of Lost Souls? If she ended up in the Fog of Lost Souls, she's in a lot of danger. <sighs> oh, that was cool. So the director decided to have a little fun with this episode. Katara, are you okay? It's just been so long. That'd be a really messed up prank to play on your parents. To just like hug them at really hard out of the blue and act like you haven't seen them in a really long time. Slowly make them think that you're from the future or something. He's evil. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what it is. It's the fog of lost souls. I wasn't expecting to see that this early. So I was right, guys. They're going to pull from all across the entire franchise, basically. So much despair. Was that was that Ko? Spirit world. Or is that or are they personifying the uh this smells like op after a rainstorm? The fog of lost souls. Come to think of it, it had alright, actually I think I, I think I know what they were really doing there. The markings. Now that I think about it. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> what seems wrong about it, Sokka? Got some serious Inception stuff going on here. The truth is, not everyone is meant to have people's lives in their hands. Wow. They're really leaning hard into Sokka's uh, main arc. They're going, going harder with it in, in, the, in, the, in the live action than the animation did, definitely. Give in to your despair. Okay. I think it actually might be a version of Ko. One of your previous incarnations tried to slay me. Why would I 
try to kill you. Oh, it was something about stealing the face of someone you love. But you know all about stealing, don't you? Perhaps you've come to return what you oh, stole Oh, that was clever. Me. There's layers to that comment. You know all about stealing, don't you, Avatar? One of my favorite things about remixes and adaptations is that I don't know what's going to happen. So I have literally no idea who's going to be in this stone hut. But I thought I just saw Gyatso's necklace, so... I know it's hard to believe, but... It's really me. There are lots of illusions here, but you've emerged from the fog. This is real. We're also working with some stuff from the future, echoing something that's to come later, and also helping to establish why it was possible when we get to something that happens later. I'm supposed to be the Avatar and everyone is counting on me. Except I don't know what I'm doing. There's the trick, kid. Literally nobody does. <laughs> you couldn't have stopped the Fire Nation. You couldn't have prevented the war. You would have just died along with everyone else. Yep. It's not your fault. He needed to hear that. You should hurry. Go will feed again before too long. Right. Once I save my friends, lots more time. Hmm. Somehow doubt that. But some friendships transcend lifetimes. Keep them safe for me. Okay. Oh, that they're actually making it. Appa and Momo are more directly communicative. This is kind of a running joke in the show. Yeah, Zula's relentless pursuit of perfection. Yep, Yu Yan Mar Archers. To Yu Yan or Yu Yang? I tell you, you know, it's it's a pretty big task to condense uh, an entire you know, 20-ish episode season into eight episodes. I think they're doing a very good job, though. I think I see where a lot of things are going. Uh, I'm sure they've got some major surprises left to uh, show us, though, especially with all the new stuff they're giving us with Azula. She made a very effective villain in the cartoon just because of how efficient and, and um, perfect she was. But... If you're going to have her in the show, she's more interesting of a character if we can see more of her flaws right up front. Because, you know, this isn't shouldn't be a spoiler to anybody, but obviously the character in the cartoon had quite a few flaws. We just didn't see them right away. Her arc was basically about revealing those flaws over time. And in the live action, the remix is basically bringing those flaws forward a little bit more so they can play. It seems so they can play more with the uh, antagonism between her and Zuko relative to trying to please their father. Having Gyatso um, show up in the spirit world to talk to Aang like that, that was really smart. It, because like I was alluding to in, in the reaction portion, it both uses something that comes up later and helps lay the groundwork for the thing that it's using, which I think is just brilliant. I like how they've remixed Ko and the Fog Lost Souls and Wan Shitong and all that stuff. That's pretty cool. I hope we still get the library. Nerd alert. But it is cool that we that we got to see Wan Shitong and, and the Fog. Again, pulling things even as far forward, uh, as far down the line as from Korra. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought uh, of this uh, episode. How you think uh again you know i'm gonna basically say ask you in each episode what you think if you are coming into this from the original series what do you think of the remixes do you have the same ideas about why they're doing them and what they're trying to achieve as i do and do you think they're effective thanks so much for joining me for this episode do like and subscribe if you like the uh reaction uh, and, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you in the comments. As always, do your best to stay safe and be well, and I will see you for the next one. Yep, yep. She looks very brave. Does she have a name? My name is Talkie Tina, and I'm going to kill you. <laughs>